Hi, I'm Daniel, this is Asheville. Today we're gonna to talk about something which is in the news a lot at the moment, which is HS2. I'm happy to say Asheville are one of the suppliers of HS2, supplying sub-base material. And today I'm gonna to take you on a delivery with me in a lorry to see how things are getting on. FYI, before we start the negative comments, I'd like to say that Asheville are only a supplier of HS2. We didn't authorize it, we didn't design it, and we definitely didn't fund it. We're only a supplier supplying sub-base material. HS2 is a railway link which is gonna link up all the major cities in this country. For instance, London, Birmingham, Manchester, and then it will follow on to places like Leeds and Glasgow. HS2 is fantastic for the construction industry. I'll give you an example. At Asheville, we now need more lorries, we need more machines, and we need to bring in more material. And to cope with the demand for HS2, we're actually using the railway and we are bringing material from other parts of the country with the smallest carbon footprint possible. We're spending more in our local economy, we're employing more people, we're training more young people and we're moving forward positively. To explain a little bit more about the delivery that we're doing today, Old Oak Common is here and Birmingham is here and we are somewhere in the middle. We're delivering sub-base material into the site which is needed for whatever it is they're actually doing, which I won't pretend to understand. This is the Type 1 sub-base material. Let's get a handful of it. This material is 40 mil down to dust and is used on all size construction projects. It could be used on anything from your patio at your house all the way up to large scale projects like HS2, for example. I'm just being loaded at site now with the Type 1 sub-base material. My empty weight has already been recorded now we're loaded up, we are off onto the way bridge to get our loaded weight. Hello, Terry. So what Terry's doing is, Terry's taking the weight when I was empty and the weight when I'm full, deducting, and then we know exactly how much material's on the lorry. Can you imagine how many times a day we have to do this? Thank you. Thank you. Hospitable way bridge operator. No, let me go. We will also do a review on these new Scania tippers. This is a P410 part of the new generation. This is a 13 litre lump with a 410 brake horsepower engine. Stay tuned for that one. We are delivering somewhere in the region of 600 tonnes a day. It has been forecast that HS2 is gonna take all the material in this entire country. So a few companies, not gonna mention any of them, have began to import material from other countries like the likes of Norway, and they've begun to stockpile this stone at ports so this can be shipped on trains as well. We are a supplier because we are a local company. Further up the line, Asheville will no longer be able to be competitive in that market. Local suppliers from those areas, they'll get their piece of the pie and they'll also be busy. So everyone benefits. A lot of big companies will be doing a lot of the larger elements of the work and what it will do is it will leave a gap because your general house builders and property developers etc while everyone's going around chasing the larger bits of work for instance HS2, um, Heathrow, M4 it's going to leave a gap in the market for your local house builders because they will still need the service. To prepare for HS2 we've had to take a lot of calculated risks so I've agreed to a lot of orders with machinery and lorries and we've taken on more staff and we've spent a lot on infrastructure, i.e. way bridges, train tracks and stuff like that. We've no actual guarantee that the work is gonna come off because if HS2 had then been mothballed or sidelined by the government, I'd have been left standing around scratching my head. How are we doing? Right. Where do you want me? It's my first time. Well, good. <laughs> we like your new face. <laughs> Right, we have successfully delivered a load into HS2 and now we are on the way out of the site. Of course, driving around the site with the beacons on. I did ask the lads there if we could film, but I was told no unauthorized filming, so we have to abide by the rules. Leave your comments down below on your thoughts on HS2 and how it's gonna impact the construction industry. And remember to subscribe.